Ladies and gentlemen, Children of Knowledge, this is Day Day here with another gameplay, and this is another beautiful, delicate, splendid gameplay here on Day Day's channel. And, uh, so, gonna jump right into it. Got an ACR silencer golden on it, um, as usual. This is, uh, on Terminal. Um, I don't like this map, but for a map that I don't like, I sure do have a lot of gameplays on it, don't I? I don't know, I understand this map, the spawns seem to work okay in it, I mean, they're still sporadic, and they still, you know, they are what they are in Modern Warfare 3, but I don't, I don't know, I just, it's a good map, I just, you know, I've already seen it, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to see it again, uh, I wanted to see it different, like Black Ops does when they have no maps. Anyways, I'm going to jump into what I'm going to talk about today, you know, I, I haven't really ever said anything about it, um, so I'm going to... I guess it's about time that I brought it up about the zombies and uh and you know in Miami you know what I'm talking about you blame it on the bath salts what do I really think about it honestly guys I think we're up under a zombie apocalypse a lot of people are going to argue that we're not but I'm going to say we are think about it okay so the first incident that I ever heard about was the guy who was eating another dude's flesh all right, it's the one that everybody heard about on the, uh, YouTube, but everybody heard about on uh, the news. This guy, this homeless man, started eating, or this homeless man got his face eaten off. His face. I'm going to point out that if it was a drug, you know, regardless of what drug you're on, I still would believe that blood tastes like blood, or skin tastes like skin. With that being said, do you know how hard it would be to eat skin? Go ahead, try. I'll wait. Try and eat some skin. Go ahead. You're not gonna do it. It's hard. I've tried. Bite yourself. It sucks. It tastes nasty. And if you're gonna blame it on bath salt, like you could have came up with another drug, you know, as some kind of form of LSD. No, it's not. This guy was eating another dude's face. He was biting past his skull. He was in his brain. He ate his eyes. You just don't eat someone's eyes when you're on LSD. That's that's not something that happens. Do I honestly think it was some kind of zombie thing? Yes, yes, I honestly do. Why do I think this? Like I said biting someone's face off not only that but the cops gonna shoot him not once not twice but multiple times like I think like three or four times they shot him and they eventually had to shoot him in the face apparently these cops never saw Resident Evil or even Walking Dead they don't understand that you gotta shoot a zombie in the face I don't know I'd have figured it out the first time you know someone eating someone's face I'd have caught the hand and said you know what this is probably a zombie captain so I'm going to take care of this and I'm going to put one in his face just one in his face and let's see what it does if he continues to walk then it's no longer a zombie it's something else it's definitely not human I'm going to put one in his face and see what goes on with it and I brought this up to my friends saying hey you know we're putting a zombie apocalypse they're like nah bro nah you wrong and the zombie's bath sauce I was like alright Wait until you see multiple of these accounts happen. And what has happened? There's been multiple attacks. There's zombie attacks. People started to get scared for their lives? Nope, nope. They think it's okay. And that's where everybody's going to get affected. They think it's alright. Like, these are just people. These are just regular people. Nothing's wrong with these guys. I beg to differ. Everything's wrong with these guys. You get shot in the back or the chest four or five times and you're still walking around. You a zombie. You know you is. So I don't I don't want to hear none of that. Okay. With that being said, what would I do if there was zombie? Well, one of the guys I used to play with, um, whose gamer tag was zombie, said that he's building him a zombie fortress. And I kid you not, guys, he's actually trying to save up enough money, and I'm pretty sure he's one of my subscribers still. He's trying to save up some money, saying that he, uh, to, to build him a place to live in case there's a zombie attack and I'm gonna let you know zombie if there ever is I'm coming to stay with you I'll bring my guns I'll bring some ammunition I even bring some pizza you know I'll stop by a pizza place jump in there cook us a pizza well a place to hang out play some Call of Duty with some of those zombies out there but I ain't gonna become a zombie because becoming a zombie would absolutely suck I think I think now I don't know you know because if you become a zombie, you obviously don't care about it no more, right? Because you're a zombie. Like, do you even think? That baffles me. Like, do you think when you're a zombie? So, guys, 
the question of the day is going to have to be this. If there was a zombie apocalypse, how would you defend yourself? Obviously with a gun. Or, you know, you would defend yourself by not getting attacked and picking a high ground or something like that. But would you roll with a loud one? Look at this. Look at that. I was behind that guy the whole entire time. I didn't realize that. Anyways, would you defend yourself by using a machine? Would you rather have a machine gun that gives away your position and, like, multiple zombies come? Or would you rather do it stealthy but take a chance of getting, you know, scratched or bitten, whatever the case may be? I think that's an interesting topic right there. It's an interesting question. Leave your answer in the comment section below. And I'm going to go ahead and start jumping off and go out with my outro. Anyways, guys, um, remember, if you're new to this channel, subscribe so you get content like this all the time. Best content out there on YouTube. Uh, so there'll be an annotation. Go ahead and click it right now. And there was... There we go. Um, like it, favorite, forward it, send it to a friend, share it, post it on your Facebook, this video, and make sure you answer that question. If there was a zombie apocalypse for real, as of right now, would you choose loud weapon over a silenced weapon? Remember you had that tail bubbling underneath. Remember, rate, subscribe, comment, and have a nice day. Peace.